Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to find the center of a circle. I'll be going over the easiest way in this straightforward tutorial. Let's get right into the video. Once you have your circle, all that you need is some sort of writing utensil, okay? You can use something that's erasable, like a pencil or something like that, if you want to get rid of the marks later, okay? You also need a ruler or measuring tape to measure, okay? I just have this hole puncher that has the ruler markings on it. And you're also going to need something with a 90 degree angle. I just use a simple sheet of paper, but you can use anything that has a sort of like a perfect uh, 90 degree right angle on it. So what you want to do is you want to make three lines from one edge of the circle to another edge. And you want those three lines to be the same length, okay? So I'm gonna take my ruler, and I know it's kinda of hard to see because of this piece right here. I'm gonna try and bend it out like that. I don't wanna break it, but we're gonna try and do that, okay? So I'm gonna make three two-inch lines. So I'm lining the ruler up, and I'm gonna find that if I have the ruler perfectly like this, from this edge right here to this edge is two inches. So I'm gonna draw that line right there. And then I'm gonna make a marking halfway on that line. So at the one inch mark is halfway, okay? Just like that. So you're gonna do this three different times and you can use any number as long as it's the same number. So now I'm gonna make another two inch uh, marking over here. I'm just lining it up. I'm making a two inch marking right here. So two inches, that's this line right here from edge to edge, okay? And then halfway is one inch. I'm gonna make a, a perpendicular marking like that over there. And lastly, another one over here. So I'm gonna go and get another two inch marking right over here, just like that. So from one edge to the other edge, two inches, okay? And then halfway is one inch, just like that. Now, like I said, um, the numbers don't uh, really matter as long as they're consistent. So you can use four inches and halfway of that would be two inches, or you can use five inches, halfway would be two and a half, whatever the case is, okay? Um, then you wanna get your straight edge and you wanna line up your, your, your right angle and you wanna line it up so that you're getting a perfectly right angle and you're able to draw with your perfectly right angle a straight line perpendicular to the lines, to the long lines that you drew. So I'm gonna move this a little bit further away to make it easier to work with, okay? So as you can see, I'm lining up this sheet of paper, okay, so that it is perfectly um, on that, this line right here. So one edge is perfectly there, and the other edge is lined up with this marking, which allows me to know that the line that I'm drawing is going to be, um, is going to be a 90 degree line, okay? So I'm just gonna try, I try and line it up. It's kind of difficult. I need to fold this paper. I'm just giving you a heads up because it's pushing against my tripod, okay? There we go. So I have my paper lined up right there. I'm gonna draw a straight line at a 90 degree angle like this, okay? Now you don't have to go all the way, but essentially you wanna go you know, far enough where you're gonna get an intersection in a moment. And I'm gonna be doing this with all three of these lines, okay? So here's another one right here. And sorry, that's not on camera, I apologize. Let me fold this again, make it a little bit easier. There we go, so now it's on camera. Um, so I'm getting my paper and I'm creating a 90 degree angle so you can see one edge of the paper is lined up with that long line that I drew and the other edge is just touching, the corner is just touching that other line and I'm gonna draw a nice straight line like this, okay? And essentially, I'm gonna do the same thing over here, all right, for the third line. Let me get, get this on camera. So I'm lining the paper up just like that. Once again, perfect 90 degree angle and the uh, vertice, the corner is right over here where this point is. So I'm gonna just draw a nice straight line just like that, okay? Uh, that didn't actually show up like that. We're gonna try that one more time, okay? Um, now, sorry about that, it's not exactly lined up. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna draw a nice straight line just like this. Okay, I don't know if it's actually showing up or not, so I'm really gonna trace it out. Now essentially, where these three lines intersect, if you did perfectly straight 90 degree angles, where these three lines intersect will be your center. So in my case right here, the three lines intersect right over here, okay? This is actually gonna be the center right there. And they should intersect if you did it properly in the right spot, okay? So you can see right here, 
Where I'm drawing this dot is the center. Now the smaller that you make your center dot, the more precise that it will be. That's it. That is the easiest way to find the center of a circle. Now obviously, the more time that you take to make everything precise, the, the, the better that it's gonna be with regards to how centered it is, okay? But that's the idea here, is that you wanna make sure that you are doing everything precise because the more time that you take for precision, the more precise your center will be. If you just need a rough center, you could do it quickly like I did right here. But if you want the exact precise center, take your time, do it properly. And I will give you a hint. The longer that you can make these lines, so I did mine two inches. If I had done them three inches, it would be a little bit easier to be more precise because the longer that these lines are, the more centered they are, which hones in easier to the center, okay? You know, essentially, the longer that you make these lines, the longer that you're able to make them, Okay, these first initial lines that we drew, the more precise, the, the more precise, or the easier it will be to become precise in finding your center. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.